everyone welcome back to my channel my name is taryn and i'm the artist behind artisan dolls over on instagram as you can see from the intro today's doll custom is going to be inspired by the strawberry cow theme that has been taking over my social media recently i don't really know where this concept started from but it's super cute to me i decided to design a character based around the concept and today we're going to be turning it into a doll in my original design i wanted my character to have a white coat so we will be recoloring this claudine later on but let's go ahead and get her base started i start by removing her hair with a pair of scissors getting as close to the scalp as i can once she has a buzz cut i run her under some hot water in my sink until the vinyl of the head is nice and squishy then i can easily pull it off from the body to remove the hair plugs from the inside of her head i'm using some angled clay sculpting tools Once all of the hair plugs are released, you can pull them out through the neck hole using some needle-shaped tweezers. All that's left to do now is remove her original factory face paint with a cotton ball that's been soaked in acetone. Before we recolor the base, I'm going to be repositioning her ears on her head. I start by cutting them off with an X-Acto knife. To secure her ears, I'll be using some epoxy sculpt and two little eye pins. With my clay tools, I sculpt down the extra epoxy to make sure that it's nice and flat. Using an extra eye pin, I'm also going to be sculpting her some horns. After her horns and ears are fully cured, I trim down the eye pins and place them into her head going through some of the original hair plugs. Once I'm happy with the placement of her ears and horns, I mix up some extra epoxy and use it to fill in the spaces between the attachments and the rest of the doll head. I'm trying to get it as seamless as possible. is fully cured, we can go ahead and start recoloring the doll. To recolor the vinyl of her head and hands, I will be using the sponge technique with regular acrylic paint. I cut the paint with an even part of water and sponge it on in even layers. It took me about 3 layers to get this opacity. For the rest of her body, I decided to experiment with some Krylon spray paint. I'm using this one that's specially formulated for plastic. plastic. After about 5 thin layers of spray paint, it actually came out looking not too bad. This might be a great alternative for those of us who have no idea how to use an airbrush. When all of the white paint was dry, I mixed up some pink and started applying her cow spots. Okay, now we can finally get started with the face up. Because acrylic paint can absorb oils from my hand, I first start by wrapping her in some cotton. With a light brown pencil and an extremely light hand, I try to map out where I want her features to go.
the rest of her face up, I'll be using acrylic paint so as not to damage the layers of paint underneath. With my tiniest detail brushes, I apply the rest of her face using acrylic paints. For finishing touches to the face up, I decided to paint the tips of her horns to look like little upside down strawberries. When I'm happy with the face up, I apply gloss to her lips as well as to the waterline of her eyes. Now that her face up is done, we can work on our outfit. What would be better for a strawberry cow than the iconic Lyrica Matoshi strawberry dress? I actually made this dress in doll scale a few years ago. I forgot to take a picture of what it looked like on the strawberry cow, but I didn't really like it. I think because I designed the doll to have so much pink in her original concept, the pink of the strawberry dress just washed everything out in real life and it didn't look as vibrant as I imagined. So instead, I'll be making her a milkmaid inspired outfit. I looked through my fabric collection and I found some really beautiful white fabrics to work with. I also found this navy blue fabric that has some little pink strawberry print all over it. I think this will be much better. For her outfit, I wanted to create a high-waisted milkmaid-inspired skirt. I had never made something like this before, so I was messing around with the pattern here. Let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in a full tutorial on how I remade this skirt. But for now, here's a quick look at what I did. For her shoes, I will be using this blue pair that I think I got from a back to school darling charming from Ever After High. I start by painting the shoes pink and then on top of the existing vine details, I added some strawberry like elements to it. Okay, now we can work on her hair. Using a second Claudine doll that I'm currently repainting for a separate project, I created her a wig cap. I trimmed it down so that it could fit around her ears and horns. For her hair, I pre-prepared some acrylic yarn wefts in a variety of pink shades and made them into some big curls.
Okay, we're almost done. Let's go ahead and work on her accessories. I first start by sculpting her a little cowbell using some gold polymer clay. With a satin ribbon and some gold hardware, I will be making this into a choker. Okay, I think she's done. Let's go ahead and get her dressed. I'm so happy with how she turned out. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought of this concept and this project in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more repaints just like this and you can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok for more behind the scenes looks at my current projects. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I hope to see you next time. Bye.